Life goes on for Sophia Flush. The images of the crash that changed her life follow her wherever she goes. But reliving that moment has helped her move on. I watched it so many times. It's, it's okay now. And also, I think talking about it helps. It's horrible to watch because the crash was just horrible or looks horrible. If you crash, of course, you're, you're angry and you're upset and you, you wait for the wall to come. It's quite strange, but it happened so fast and everything. It's, I, before I saw the video, I didn't know that I was flying. For me, it didn't feel that bad. And then the pain started kicking in. Doctors managed to repair two broken bones in Flush's neck without damaging her spinal cord. The operation lasted 11 hours. The treatment was so successful that just a month after the accident, she was already in physiotherapy. I never was really scared to not be able to continue my sport. When I started doing some training again, um, I really had to start from the beginning. So this is kind of depressing at some stage, but I think I managed it quite good and um, I'm back kind of back where I was before. Four or five weeks later, I can be back in the car. So I've never been not driving for such a long time. So I'm really, I really want to be back. Flesch is back in a driver's seat of sorts, having recently turned 18 and passed her driving test. But for a born racer, it's just not the same as being out on the track. Driving on a highway or so, it's boring compared to what I do in a race car. So here, I'm just driving as every other person as well. There are no rivals. <laughs> Once you do your sport, you just, your, your, your mind just shuts down and you try to beat everyone. Of course, I know the risk, but I also already knew the risk before the crash, so it didn't really change. I grew up with this sport, so, so I, I, when I started, I was four years old and I've always loved the speed. Even in a go-kart, Flersch was always faster than the boys. Her success helped her to move up the rankings very quickly, all the way to Formula 3. One of her toughest opponents over the past few years, Mick, the son of Michael Schumacher. I know Mick since a long time. We're always like fighting with each other. We were fighting for many years. So if I have the same possibilities as him, I would for sure beat him as well. Her accident has brought her a lot of attention recently, more than most drivers. But she'd much rather people focused on her driving skills. Even at her favorite restaurant, the spotlight is always on her health. I never really wanted attention because of a crash. I wanted it because of success. It's everyone is now like, Ooh, how are you, how are you, how are you? But I think once I step into the car and then perform well there, I hope that everyone will see me again as the girl racing and the girl racing fast and beating the other, other drivers and not the girl with the crash. Sophia Flersch is ready to put her crash in the past. She's setting her sights on the Formula 3 European Championships in May. So Flersch has obviously bounced back from her injuries, uh, but what are her prospects, Yannick, of actually making it as a race car driver and jumping maybe from Formula 3 to Formula 1? Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be uh, an easy road, that's for sure. But, I mean, she's been uh, go-karting, as we heard it, since she was seven. Uh, when she was 14 years old, she competed in the Janetta Junior Championships, the youngest ever racer, female or male, uh, to, to win a race in that competition. Um, and she's broken numerous records since. Uh, she was the first female to win points in the Grand Prix in Formula 4. Then she jumped into Formula 3. Um, and obviously her progress has been stalled somewhat uh, with this crash, with this setback, but um, she has a very bright future and she's very ambitious. She wants to reach the pinnacle of Formula 1. Flush is very determined. You can see that uh, from her. But she's up against more than just uh, health issues and the normal challenges of driving. How difficult is it for a woman in such a male-dominated sport? It's, it's definitely not easy. I mean, women are clearly underrepresented in motorsports. Um, but unlike other sports, men and uh, women do have the chance to compete alongside each other. So there is at least that chance for her to progress into Formula One. But it is an exclusive sport. Not many drivers are in the sport and uh, you have to become from a wealthy background to actually compete in the sport. Um, but 
not many women have competed in Formula One. The last, I think, that competed in qualifying was Giovanna Amati in 92. Um, but women have been picked as test drivers in Formula One, but it's still a tough road. But Flourish has big ambitions. We've just heard from her. She's young, talented, and clearly very determined to come back from such a horrific crash. So it'd be very fascinating to see her progress over the next few years. Hopefully we see in Formula One soon. Keeping an eye on her. Yannick Spate from DW Sport, thanks so much. Thank you.